Christ is risen. In this Easter season, and as the fifth video on the domestic church, we're going to go to an Easter table with our youth group a year or so ago. When they all came into this very room, I asked them after we sat down and began to look around the room and find the candles. They found the candles. I said, what, what do you think they represent? And they thought, I said, well, look who's, what's behind the candle. And they recognized behind each one was a holy image, a sacred image. And I said, well, why are they there? And they were a bit mystified, in other words, the candles. And I said, each candle represents there's somebody else here at table with us. So who are those people? And they named the Madonna and child we have here before us, uh, Jesus at, with his disciples at Emmaus breaking bread, St. Nicholas, St. Francis, and some of the other saints that were here, is, including their own patron saints who were with them, because we were reminded of their presence with the candle. And that's the focus of today. The praying candle is a sign of presence. That someone else is here with us. We're not here alone. I learned this when I was in high school. Uh, going to a Byzantine church on Saturday for prayers, I was going a little bit earlier just because I wanted to watch the priest light each and every one of the candles in the church behind the sanctuary, in front of the sanctuary, in front of each icon, down the walls of the church, by the shrines. The whole church, which was in quasi-darkness, had these red light candles, very similar to what we have here. And each candle in this preparation was a sign that there's somebody else with us. That mystified me to no means. I looked around and finally found in a neighboring state a catalog and ordered this particular hanging light for myself, or actually for the picture of Our Lady and Child in my bedroom heaven window. Because every time it was lit, it reminded me they were here with me. So the first reason to light a candle in the heaven window, is to remind us of a presence of another person, a spiritual presence with them, and we enter into that presence by lighting the candle. I knew candles as an altar server in a Roman Catholic parish very, very well. We lit tapers and vigil lights, and the Franciscan sisters used to light various kinds of colored vigil glass candles. And they were all kind of a sign of solemnity. I never thought of presence until that Byzantine church. The more candles we had, the more solemn the day, or a holy day, like Christmas and Easter. After every Mass, however, most of the adults would go to a particular shrine in the church, light a candle, kneel down before the sacred patron, usually a statue, and say a prayer. That was our praying candle as a sign of intercession. They loaded, lit it as a votive light, the votive offering being the candle for a prayer that was offered. Sometimes we kids used to get like 10 cents and we'd like little smaller versions, red ones. And so this, another purpose of lighting a candle is as an intercessory prayer. We have a need. We light our own candles as a sign of the prayer, which we then offer in front of the image of our patron. The last one is for meditative prayer itself. And that happens here a lot in front of, as I think you've noticed, my heaven window. My heaven door with its heaven window, the Madonna child. I look forward to every morning coming into this dining room and praying. Because with these modern lead light automatic battery operated candles that you see here, they light every day at the same time. And so those early hours of the morning are spent in meditation and prayer. 
recognizing the presence, and just entering into silence, which could happen in the evening after everybody's in bed. It could happen just as a spiritual rest and a mental, spiritual conversation with the person who is there, a prayer or a quiet rosary. So, lighting a candle is much more than a decoration, and even much more than something proclaiming a feast. It can be either a sign of someone else's presence, it can be a sign that I have a need and I light this candle, the votive candle, or that I want to recognize the person's presence and just be with them. That is the praying candle as the first tool in the heaven doors toolbox. The action prayer of the praying candle. Christ is risen. Christ is risen. Christ is risen. 